Hello, this is Ian with Satellite Oasis, and this video is to show the difference between the Bird Dog USB meter and the Bird Dog USB Plus meter. Uh, on the top, you can see the Bird Dog USB meter. Uh, it highlights the actual name, uh, it says USB, whereas on the bottom it says USB Plus. Uh, the form factors between these two meters are identical. Uh, you can see the USB port and the DC jack and the AC jack on the back and on this side is a blank side. So these two meters uh, actually run almost identical uh, satellites. Uh, there's just a few key uh, features between the two. So uh, the first is the, uh, well I'm gonna boot them both up. So we'll boot them both up. Okay, and as you see, uh, now that they're boot, both booted up, I'll go through the different satellite lists. This is the default list, the pre-configured list um, that, that comes uh, factory loaded into both of these. So I will just go through all these real quickly. And there's many of the common uh, free-to-air satellites uh, installed. And here's the uh, Dish Network Eastern Arc. Uh, you can also load 72.7 in here if you wanted to. Uh, here's Dish Pro 110 and 119 and uh, Dish Net 129. Uh, and then DirecTV, you have uh, the uh, Kaku 101. Uh, that would be for the 18-inch round dish and the 18 by 20 and also on the Kaku, uh, the Slimline standard LMBs uh, with the four output. Uh, same thing with the 119. And then you both have SWIM 101. Uh, you can do SWIM with these. You need to use a, uh, a SWIM splitter. Uh, you would use that uh, off of the dish, connect uh, the non-power passing side uh, to the bird dog, and then connect the other cable into the line that goes to the power inserter to power the SWIM. Uh, these meters, neither one powers the SWIM, only the bird dog ultra powers the SWIM. And then you also have the SWIM 119. And you have uh, on the uh, USB, you see it jump to the histogram, uh, which is for swim. Uh, that's just a, a way to basically watch your swim uh, signal. Whereas uh, on the bottom one, uh, you have a different setting for the swim output test, is what that's called. So then you go past it, and then uh, you see the dual display, which the uh, the Bird Dog USB Plus has. Uh, then the direct the uh, Three also has that, but it's not the same. As you see, it's a little bit different there. And then you also have the uh, 99 for both of them uh, for the RF to give you the, the signal on the K99 and the 103 as well. And then we're back to the beginning. So uh, when you boot this down, it just automatically goes down, whereas the uh, USB Plus uh, it'll give you a couple extra selections like a dissect uh, and a spectrum analyzer. A constellation which is a different way to view the signal and a custom carrier if you want to install your own uh, uh, custom satellite if you couldn't find it on the uh, bird dog uh, site and then you have LMB cable test and then that's it and then uh, that's pretty much it so you boot them down they both work on a 30 300 milliamp hour uh, nickel metal hot drive battery uh, when, when you back out, uh, if you see, here's the, basically the main menu uh, to change the settings on the equipment. And uh, both settings are basically identical. Uh, you can do all the same things in it. And there's the software version or the firmware. So the main difference between the 4 and the 3 is uh, really the USB Plus just has the LMB cable test, uh, which is nice. It has the... Uh, a couple uh, more advanced swim uh, uh, viewing options. Um, in my opinion, it's not really worth caring about in general, but um, uh, for most swim installers, you know, if you run the cable correctly and um, you get your right on the signal and you're checking out good on the receiver, uh, some of these things aren't important, uh, but they're there. So. Uh, has the the four uh, plus has a little bit more memory to to service those, uh, but the satellite lists are basically ninety 
uh, percent identical between the two. So uh, that's the main difference between these two. Of course, the Ultra is the newer model, and it's a, it's quite a bit different. Uh, it's $150 more than the new USB uh, Plus. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So um, we have the USB for sale uh, and the USB Plus for sale. Uh, but uh, I know there's a lot of misconceptions about the... Uh, major advantage to the 4 and the 3 uh, because a lot of people don't know that the 3 and even the 2.5 on the bird dog uh, do they have they have swim settings for swim so and they and the 2.5 actually when you load the pre-configured list in uh, it, it loads the same list as the 3 and the, and and the 4 will load a couple extra settings because they're basically there as outlined uh, but when it comes to all the satellites that the average installer is using or even a person that's a DIY or a free to air type person, uh, you're, you're going to get all the same satellites with either one of these meters and they're all going to do the same things. Uh, they're all going to hold the same charge. Um, the, the displays are even identical uh, basically and the bird dog USB actually has a little bit faster boot up time which is kind of interesting considering the fact that it's older. So that pretty much does it. Uh, hopefully this video was informative for uh, anybody making a decision on uh, which way they want to go with the satellite meter. Uh, we're going to have another video uh, that highlights the uh, 2.5 meter uh, and you sh you'll be able to see that uh, in another uh, uh, video on our, on our page. So uh, uh, but that's it. That's the difference between a bird dog uh, and a, a USB and a bird dog USB Plus.